Hi guys. There has been a recent rumbling in the AMS2 arena with the sudden appearance of a new content manager for the game. It's early days yet, so don't expect anything quite as advanced as we see in the world of Assetto Corsa, but could this mean a wider adoption of the game in the future? Maybe more mods coming on the scene. But I don't have a crystal ball, but it has at least made me come to try installing some content for AMS2. So let's give this app a go and find out all about it. The app is a lightweight project from Paolo of Open Sim Tools. Effectively, what this command line tool does is enable one click installation of mods in AMS2. If you've ever previously installed mods on AMS2, you will realize what a breath of fresh air this truly is. You still need to mess around with a boot file, but you no longer have to extract archives and play around with vehicle or driveline config files. On updates, it also allows you to reinstall the mods that the game update has so kindly removed for you. Let's start out by downloading the .NET 6 desktop runtime and install it. You might be able to skip this step, but I've seen a couple of instances of people not being able to run the mod installer and it's been because of this runtime being missing. Make sure you have the game set in its original state with no mods. Strange things could happen otherwise. Actually, AMS 2CM will detect if you've used a previous mod manager and block installation. Download AMS to CM from Race Department or GitHub. Extract all the app files from the zip into a location of your choosing and you're good to go. For me, I installed this app in my documents under AMS2 Content Manager so I could easily find it at a later date. Your virus scanner might consider this file suspicious, but the app is completely open source, so you can check it out for yourself on GitHub if you have any concerns. Incidentally, mine had no complaints, not for AMS 2CM or for the Delara IR18 mod that I installed. Now, it would be remiss of me to not mention any alternatives to this content manager. So first up, we we'll talk about JSGME or Jonesoft Generic Mod Enabler. It's a common mod loader which can be used for a variety of different games. It too can be downloaded from Race Department and has a similar installation process to AMS 2CM. It is a lot more work, however, to get a mod installed and this is part of what the benefit of adopting AMS 2CM is at this early stage. As this app is specifically written for AMS, any new features will only enhance this experience more. Another AMS2 content manager was started by Stefan Gerlich, but this looks to now be parked in favour of the solution offered by OpenSimTools. Some content that you'll find is a straight lift from Project Cars 2. There is dubious legality around such content, so to avoid this grey area, I'll show the installation of the Delara IR18 2023 mod, which can be found on the Race Department website, but others should be a similar affair. Drop your mod archive files straight into a mods enabled directory in your AMS2 path. If you don't know where this is, you can find it easily enough through Steam by right clicking, selecting properties, local files, and then browse. Make sure to also download the corresponding boot files from the Razer forum in the same location. Don't do what I did initially and extract the boot files. AMS2CM will extract them for you. Just leave them in the cabinet file that you downloaded with the original name. It deliberately starts with double underscore. Once all is set, you are ready to run AMS 2CM, which will install your mods for you. As the app restores the game to the original state before installing mods, you can also install upgrades using the same process. Just replace the old mod archive with a new one and you're good to go. 
I've had a blast driving around in the IR18 in places it really doesn't belong and some that it really does. It is a fantastic drive around Laguna Seca for example. If you feel like trying out AMS 2CM I heartily recommend grabbing the Delara IR18 as one of your first downloads. It really is a poster child for what the modding community can do when great minds get together. The software currently doesn't feature a UI, so you'll need to work from the game folders to get anything done. I did hear a hint that one might be coming in a later date though, perhaps as part of a collaboration with other modders. At present, when you install mods through AMS 2CM, it'll restore your game to the original state first. That does mean if you install mods outside of AMS 2CM, things might start to get a little bit problematic. It also means if you install a lot of mods, it could be quite time consuming as all the mods have to be installed again. Thunder Flash mods are currently unsupported and I know Paolo has reached out to them to see if they can fix those issues. That doesn't mean that these mods don't work at all though, it just means they create a bunch of duplicate entries It is a bit of an awful mess. AMS2 Content Manager is very new and a little light on features. Even at this early stage though, it takes away some of the administrative hassle of getting a mod installed in AMS2. Judging by the reaction to it in the race department forums already, a few modders have embraced a new solution, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see some further collaborative effort to make this all the more streamlined. It really is great to see people spending time on these passion projects to help sim racers get even more from their games. So thank you, Paolo, for all your hard work on the project. He isn't currently accepting pull requests into the project as he's still working on the foundations of it. However, at a later date, we might see a huge expansion of features as more hands start looking at solutions. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this look through the content manager for AMS2. It really is a great foundation for a project. So go check it out if you're interested. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so other people can find it. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, don't forget to mash that subscribe button. That's it from me in this episode now, guys. So I'll bid you farewell and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.